What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about what is in my camera bag. You know, that quintessential video that every videographer slash photographer needs to be doing. Well, today we're going to be talking about what is in mine. This is my trusty Sony a7 III mirrorless camera. I take this bad boy with me absolutely everywhere. Right now I'm using my Sony 50mm 1.8 lens and this is my go-to lens for most portraits. I'll also lug around a 28 to 70 millimeter Sony lens. This is a kit lens, but you'd be surprised at all the cool stuff that you can actually do with a kit lens. This is a shotgun microphone with a dead cat attachment. A dead cat is that fuzzy thing that you see on top of the microphone. It helps to filter out excess noise and wind and other varying stuff. Just keeps sound quality a little higher. This is a little air pump. So you'll use this right before you change your lenses. You go along the base of your lens where your lens or your camera connects to try to get a lot of that dust out and away from what will soon to be your exposed sensor because there is nothing worse other than breaking your sensor to having dust all over your sensor because that is an absolute pain to clean. Here we have a rapid strap. This one goes right along my shoulder and allows me to keep a lot of that camera weight off of my chest and more to my side. It's more of a comfortability thing. It screws on to where the camera would usually attach to a tripod. So that's an ease of convenience for me that I could just screw it on whenever I want and take it off whenever I want. So if I'm switching from photography to videography, my strap will never get in my way. I always carry a bunch of micro USB cords with me. You never know when you're gonna have to do data transfer or charge something. And I always keep spares because these things seem to wanna break a lot. This is a power bank. So I carry this one with me because the Sony a7 III is one of the few cameras that can shoot both video and photo while charging at the same time. These are two spare batteries as well as a battery inside of the camera always bring spare batteries with you. A dual battery charger for those two batteries, just hook that up to one of those micro USBs that I was talking about earlier and get to charging. A wall charger. Most everything in my camera back runs off of micro USB or USB-C. So it's just helpful to always have one of those around. This is a body cap and a lens cap for extra memory card storage. This combination just is absolutely insanely helpful and safe for your memory card. This is a Godox TT350S little small TTL flash that I just carry with me because it's very small, very compact. Uh, if I'm shooting in low light and I need a little maybe fake sun over here or some extra light over here, I'll pop one of those babies out. This is the trigger for that Godox light. Slap that trigger on top of a camera and put that Godox on top of a tripod or a light stand, something light that you can carry with you, and bam, now you have an off-camera flash to give an artificial light source with. This is an Altura Photo softbox that goes right on top of that Godox TT350S. Gives just a little diffusion and helps kill the harshness of that light onto your subject. It comes in a small little carrying case that's just really easy to pull the thing out, and it is completely adjustable via Velcro on the back, so you can put it on most off-camera flashes. A wireless trigger so I can snap those photos from a distance. Maybe I want to be the subject of a photo and I want to get some self-portrait sun, and I've got to be really far away. So just pop that bad boy out and bam, we are good to go. This right here is some tempered glass screen protectors that I use for the back of my cameras. Uh, if you don't have one of these, you 
absolutely should. And you should also pick up some spares. I was once out shooting street photography and a car comes driving by just absolutely recklessly and knocks a bunch of rocks off the road right into my camera screen. And I just see this crack just come straight across. I'm just thinking to myself, oh God, oh no, I'm gonna have to send my camera in for a like $400 fix. But thankfully I had one of these bad boys on there and it took the entire brunt of the damage. Little leather carrying case for any various odds and ends that I may need to store away while I'm out of shoot. That is a cold shoe mount adapter. I can put that on any tripod or light stand and that is just an easy way for me to stand up my small portable light and get an off camera light source. Cleaning rags. Never leave home without one of these and always keep them in a plastic bag. You use these to help clean your lenses and help clean your screens, but you have to remember that if they're dirty, it will get your lens and screen dirty as well. So keep them protected. In my top pouch, we're gonna be talking about my weather protection system for the entirety of my bag. So this black piece of fabric here is, is completely water resistant and you just, once it starts raining, you just take that bad boy out of the top and you slide it right over the whole bag and it will keep everything inside safe and dry. This plastic bag looking thing, I can use this as a weather cover for my camera itself. So I don't have to stop shooting once it starts raining. I just take this little adjustment piece right here at the front, tighten that around the lens and throw the rest over the body of the camera and I am good to continue shooting. Just some cheap little filters that just help me get different really cool effects. One of those is a faux macro lens adapter that just helps me shoot things at a little closer and get a little more details. Cleaning solution, very important. Keep that with you, keep the lid on it. Tape, you never know when you're gonna need to tape something down. Personally, I usually carry duct tape with me. These Q-tips will also help you keep your equipment clean. Uh, once again, if you go around the base of your lenses, it'll help you get that dust off. An extra tripod head, you never know when that's gonna come in handy, so I just always take one with me, especially if like my tripod head decides that it wants to break or I end up losing it, so I always keep a spare. Here's a memory card wallet. I do keep one of those on me. If I have filled up a memory card, I will slide it into there just so that I know that that memory card is absolutely full and I cannot use it anymore. Well, there you go, guys. That is everything that is in my camera bag currently as of February of 2020. I'll have more stuff like this for you guys here in the future. So give that like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. YouTube culture stuff, insert that here. And uh, thank you guys for clicking on this little video. What was he doing? Scratching.